Hi Thaisa and welcome to my channel. Today I'm just showing you a bit of lettering. That's all just a quick a quick example. I am um just just giving a, a, a few tips. Okay, and as you can see mine's not brilliant, but you can make it absolutely brilliant if you like. I'm sure you can, I'm sure people can, but um it's just fun, that's all it is. Just I was just having some fun doing this and I enjoyed doing it too, which is the most important thing about journaling. And so just having fun. Um not thinking about perfection, things like that. Because it's no junk journal perfect. It's um, not perfection, is it? It's just some just a way of having fun, isn't it? So um anybody who's given me a thumbs up lately or today thank you so much uh well any and well in any time in the past <laughs> thank you so much anybody who has subscribed to my channel too thank you so much it's a that is absolutely amazing um thank you so much watching the rain outside yeah it's raining it's raining on the window pane yay okay and it's coming from which direction the north ish isn't it so a bit cool probably a bit cooler than average okay then let's go and i'll show you how to do it all thank you okay let's have a go i'm gonna have a go <laughs> okay so i'm gonna try some um lettering and uh, right how do you let do lettering it's um i think it's best to probably use a ruler whether it's using measurements i don't know but definitely possibly using a ruler not that i would use a ruler if you're not used to things, I would definitely use, a, if you're a beginner, for example, and, and this idea, use a ruler, I would, uh, I'm going to write a word across here, about, say, the size of the ruler, yeah, yeah, let's use the ruler as a guide. Okay. Right, then, how big is that? 15 centimetres or 6 inches. Let's think of a word. I was going to put things like inspire. I've used inspire before. Um, let's create things like create or uh, journal or anything like that. Let's do journal. In fact, how many letters has journal got? I don't know. Oh, it's a piece of scrap paper. Journal. It's got seven letters. Okay, and you can do it if you like in capitals or in small letters. Um, I would say if you're beginner, try capitals. Let's divide this. Right, words, letters like I would be uh, very short. And W is long. W and M possibly is longer. But we're not using either in this, so let's we'll do these in a normal space. Um, this comes, this ruler really comes up as a um, um, you're in European, and that's like secondary. So it's got this um, in the right. I'm not going to start at the beginning. I'm going to start here. So in fact, that's going to be. I'm going to start there. As well. So that means thirteen centimeters in the middle middle of that would be here so we've got a letter that comes up in the middle haven't we that have moved over there somewhere the left middle letter is r uh, capital r same as that'd be the same as the a same as the o same as you i would say well, n might be slightly bigger um they could allow for that right okay so um, I ain't got enough room of I for two centimeters. No, no, I don't got anything that side. I have no idea what that was talking about. Right then, so 13 in the middle is this, okay. And it's that R, I would say, how about one and a half centimetres or five eighths of an inch, if you like, per letter. It might not come up to there though. Hmm. Five, oh yeah. I don't know how to work it out in an in inch. <laughs> But anyway, I'm doing about one and a, uh, six and a half. That's two letters. Three letters. Four letters. That's the middle one. That's about right, isn't it? So. I'm 
trying to move everything out my way because in my way, trying to get everything out. Right, okay. Five letters, six letters, seven letters. That comes up to there. So I've got a bigger space there than at the end, but that's fine. I'd rather have it that way around than the other way around, would I? I think. That doesn't really matter, I don't think. So I'm going to draw draw lines every two eighths of an inch, seven eight, uh, five eighths of an inch, sorry. Leaving a space of, let's see what the space is in inches. Oh, about three sixteenths. Yeah, I say three sixteenths, that's better, isn't it? Probably a bit more. Um, but if you have got um, centimetres on your ruler, I'm doing it every, cent every two centimetres and um, doing a half a, cent half a centimetre, that's right. What's sticky on here? Whatever that is. Looks disgusting, whatever it is. Get it oh, it's glue, by the looks of it. Right, yeah, I'll get that off. It's on the page or not? Right, what was I doing this morning? Yes, I was getting my, I was cleaning my, of course, I've decided I don't need to do it by hand. I can see it better, but obviously if you do it by ruler, you can see it, you can see that better. Mine's just going to be approximate. Oh dear, that's a bit small, isn't it? I've done that too small. Oh no, I've done that too big. Right, there we are. That's why. Now this is just, I'm doing, doing approximate, you can do exact if you like, but I'm only doing approximate. What did this I was doing? Journal. J-O-U-R-L. Yeah, that fits. <laughs> it is worth thinking. Yeah, and make sure if you can't, if you're not brilliant at, um, well, I don't know. I think um, some people, even if you are brilliant at spelling, or you're very intelligent, because there's somebody at college, oh dear, he would write the most absolutely gorgeous graphic art, and then he'd spell something wrong. He'd hate me because I'd always point it out. <laughs> right, okay. So what I'm doing is um, possibly deciding on a width of the lettering. And um, I'm going like that. Okay, so now I'm using the spaces. I'm using, uh, n without the serif, I don't know, shall I do the serif? Um, you can do the serif if you like, which means you'd have to perhaps put that. It doesn't matter. I perhaps just do it like that. You can do a little one at the back if you like. Serif is the is the lines that go across that make it make them look capital, don't they? Like that on the R you've got that, and on the T you've got possibly those, and a, a thing at the bottom. Right, O wise, circle wise, so just round the corners, you know, like that. I don't think it doesn't matter if it's not accurate because we're going to, it's a design. Okay, and I'm going to try and make that that parallel anyway, just for the fun of it, really. Parallel with these lines here. That's a little bit there, so it doesn't matter at all. Again, you. And oh, uh, uh, I'm trying. I'll do the uh, N. The N seems to be might take up a little more space. Um. It like that, that would be squashy. <laughs> it's an R. Journal, <laughs> see? Journal. It's supposed to be an R there. It's getting carried away because I'm thinking about that N. There we go. <laughs> and now it's there. <laughs> so you, I think you could encroach a little bit on the other bits, if you like, on the other sides. So you can move the lines up a little bit just to get the N in, for example. W and that you'd have to allow quite a bit. Like right, like probably nearly double the space. Right, okay, so N, and then I'm going to do the A like a, a rounded top. And again, the same. Oh, <laughs> that's not very good, is it? And then the L. Oh, dear, I think I've, I think I've gone over the edge, really. Okay, it doesn't really matter. You can make that a little bit shorter. It's a design. There we go. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. Oh yeah, I've done it quite quite close up, haven't I? So hopefully you can see that. And it doesn't really matter because it's only messing about, having fun. It's not serious at all. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. I don't do a I don't do a little thing on there because that would make it into a small U. It doesn't really matter if it does. If you do, <laughs> you want to make it into a small U, that's fine. Or a small A. Or any other letters you like, guess that's a bit of a design as well, isn't it? Yeah. 
No, that's a bit thin there to me. I don't know. Let's get that a bit over there. Um, uh, do I like that? No. I'm trying to get that a bit more um, of an R shape. I don't know. There we go. Right. Let's do it in in something. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a not point. I don't know what we've got because I've just got these out of a um, out of a box. I've been in that. Not point five looks good. Not point not five doesn't. BS. That's a brush um, which you could use for colouring in if you want to do solid. Yeah, but I'm not going to do that, am I? No, 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 no. Not not point two looks good too for doing that. I've got. An, a one point naught, which I think would be even better for demonstration. Point not like so. I've got. I think the thickest one is a not point five, which was not that one. This one, okay. So I'll just show you now what I'm going to do. I'm going to go round them. You don't have to do this, of course. You can do your design first. I did, after all, do a little bit of a. And that's not even straight, but hey. Okay. Right then, so I haven't got it. Do you know what I haven't got? Da, 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 and no razors. <laughs> I have no idea where they are. Right then, so um, yeah, so that's going to have to just, we're just going to have to um, imagine it's not there, aren't we? We could do anything you like on these. So it just, you should, just use your imagination, or you can perhaps, if you like, do some zentangles if you've got, if you've got that. Um, those ideas right and do, or you can do things like do stripes like that uh, things like this and you can colour the stripes in or you could put things like dots in the stripes you can colour them in put some other further stripes down them see that's not even straight it looks like something that's been wrapped around it doesn't it a little bit okay so then, then that like that. What you could do afterwards as well is perhaps even thicken up the line or thicken up any line that comes this side on any line that comes this side. So you st well, that doesn't come that side so that ends there. Okay. But this one does. Any line that comes there or here. Oh yeah of course that will. Oh, sorry to confuse you. There we go. <laughs> That line will come there as well so you could do things like that which would um, enhance the design so anything that comes this side or this side including anything diagonal like that okay let's see what else we can do um for the oh mm, 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 <laughs> looking round you can do um ew, what can we do for the oh let's have a look what we've got over here I could do zigzags, so anything like this. Doesn't matter, you can don't have to do it like me, you can do it differently if you like. And you can either I'll perhaps even colour them in. I'm going to do stripes like this. And I'm going to put little triangles at the bottom of each one and colour them in. Okay, right then, what can we do for the next one? Yeah, you can do things like circles or ovals to fill it in. Or the same size like this or different sizes there we go how about that and i haven't done anything else with that also how about stripes 
and we'll haven't even done those straight i'm going to color that one in okay next one i'm not next one which will go imagine goes through there i'll color in next one not next one color in there we go that's that one can we see that still i can move it over a bit because it's obviously <laughs> yeah okay and then um hopefully i'm not hiding it when i'm writing right so we've done that way let's go this way now um yeah we go across two Um, let's think what we could do here. I was thinking crisscrosses. And then go back the other way. And then... And this way. Yeah, you know, you could even colour those in if you like. I think it might take a bit of time, so I won't do that. Or you could put something. Let's put little dots in there. Just to make it a bit more interesting in that bit. Okay. Oh. There we go. Okay. So there's that one. And then... Yeah, I know. Yeah. So this time, let's go... and it's just going straight lines just missing those out you could do it with a ruler but if you've got an eraser yay <laughs> you can rub out, rub out the lines couldn't you but you don't have to do it with a ruler so so it's so um so now i'm going to come this way will that join there yes yeah okay that way like that and then you could perhaps do big circles on here on these Anywhere the cross, do a big circle. And imagine it's there as well, and here, and here. Oh no, here we go. That's how that door we are. That one and this one. Yeah, I, I, I will tell you if I can hear a cat meowing. I must sometimes I, I completely blank them out, but I will tell you. And then it's not your cats, <laughs> like Carol that morning. <laughs> she said she heard a cat meowing and wondered which one of hers it was, and it wasn't. It was mine. But I did mention it. Okay, something like that. That's quite nice. You can make them into squares as well, making like an argyle pattern. This was made up on the spot <laughs> as I'm going. But um, I have actually got a, a bunch of ones I've actually named. <laughs> oh, I know what we could do. Um, something fairly... Oh, that's zigzags again, isn't it? Or we could do... We could have this. I've got an idea for one. Yes, it's my little... Oh, that sounds like treacle now. Both Toriel and treacle like to come in here. Okay, so now we've got... And I'm just going to colour those. Then you could do it the other way round. You could do... No, what you could do as well, if you like, put a little dot in between each one to give it a bit of a... Yeah, so anything like that, any word you like using that method um just to do the size you like look it's not even it's not even equal to, but does it look okay yes it looks absolutely fine um i could i, I attempted to always put a dot there and a dot here let's do that <laughs> a bit small isn't it just colour it in i don't know why i do that sometimes i do <laughs> probably not even straight but hey it's junk journal perfect isn't it so that's fine so if you want to do something like that if you want to do that you can do it make them smaller bigger you don't have to do such patterns if you make them small if you make them bigger then you can do um you can go to town on other patterns as well i bet some of you can already do it really well and if you can't do it really well hopefully i have given you some ideas um and um just try it do one letter do one letter on a practice sheet don't have to do it in your journal this is my actual the one i just use for practice for, well for ideas really uh, I've no idea where my journal is, otherwise I might have done it in my journal. 
<laughs> journal <laughs> yeah you could use that as a on your cover too you could also do these and cut them out um i've done that before i could you could do them in different colored papers and if you if you're into vintage you could do some different colored browns or beiges you could change the designs you could do the same designs but do them in a different way um you could do you could perhaps put that 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 triangle in the middle instead of on the outside uh, you could do those in different sizes I've done them basically all the same size you could do those stripes that way around you could do those those that way around you could color the color some of that in or put stripes on it instead mm. you don't have to do spots you could do circles there anything like that you could do circles there instead of triangles yep you could um I don't know. Yeah, there's loads of things you could do. <laughs> loads, loads, and loads. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, the world's your oyster, really. With that, <laughs> so I have the got on here. This is a piece of um, vellum of things. So, and then um, it's it's quite meditative as well if you can get into it. Um, perhaps do it around the edge. How about doing something around the edge as well? One of these patterns around the edge of a page. That'd be good. Yeah, that might be great. Let's put this out. Let's see what that looks like right out like that. There you go. That look good. See, it perhaps doesn't look so good close up. <laughs> but it's fine. I, I was, I'm quite pleased with that. That's fine with me. Oh, yeah, and I forgot. Don't we? But yeah, somebody's going to do this, weren't we? We're going to. Anything that's facing that way. You can. Oh, yeah, and anything that's. Oh, yeah, above it. So that bit, Bill, as well. Uh, and then from there. I did that bit wide, didn't I? Never mind. So I've done that. Yeah. So you could have done that say in white, for example, if you've got a white pen. I've got a white pen, but I think that looks fine. Okay, you could have done that in white all, all around the edges. So I haven't even coloured that bit in there a lot. There we go. Just have fun. I mean it's just fun, that's all it is. I mean that's not serious, is it? It's just having a bit of fun. And if you want to practice on some spare paper and then perhaps if if you've done it right, you think, oh that's brilliant, I'll put that in I can actually perhaps cut that piece out, put it in your stick it in your journal. Yeah, so yeah, I've done that. Yeah, that'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? Okay then, so I will say goodbye now. Thank you.